Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and we are going to do a review for Holy Wonder, which is a vegan restaurant and also a yoga studio as well. So yeah, let's go inside and check it out. And this is what it looks like from the outside. Pretty cool looking from the outside. And let's go in and check it out. Like it says here, delicious, healthy, 100% plant-based cafe, yoga studio, Holy Wonder. Paul. Oh. It says Paul. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. Pretty nice little decor. Here and there. It's not really really deep, but I think we've got that stairs as well. And call it a car box. That's a bit easy. Pretty good to me. And yeah, they talk a little bit up here about nourishing your body with your food and that they use highest quality ingredients free from meat, dairy, GMOs, and artificial anything. Everything is made from scratch using whole and finest ingredients. All food and drinks are gluten free except for the pizza crust, which can be changed to gluten free version. These are almond milk, house made, coconut milk in their food and drink, local produce is sourced wherever possible, certified organic and non-certified organic ingredients are used, we always use A quality produce. There's all different types of superfoods like maca powder, aminos, quinoa, they use minimal oil when they do use it, they use quality oil such as extra virgin coconut oil, natural sweeteners, no refined sugars whatsoever. And these things like liquid aminos, pink Himalayan salt, no refined salt, no MSG. Foods of course loves to take a deep breath and enjoy the fruits. Mother nature has given us. Eat and feel good. And yeah. We also got this which is really good as well. So the juice has arrived at I have ordered, which is glad about a lot of places when I order. Even if I ask for the juice first, they still tend to bring it out when the food's out mm. and it's just not a good thing to be doing, good combination, you want to drink the juice first, let it go down, out of your stomach and then put you in, so how about that? Comes in a nice glass cup as well. And yeah, for anyone wondering, what is this one? It's called Wonder Wave. It's got celery, cucumber, spinach, ginger, parsley, lettuce, lemon and apple. So yeah. It's good that it's got the lemon and the apple in there because it helps sweeten it up. A lot of green juices are far too green tasting. That's why a lot of people do not like them. And yeah, I ordered one of their pizzas. What did you order? Pizza. And I ordered the shepherd's pie as well. And I got the chocolate parfait. Yeah. This was cool. So yeah, they'll be coming out soon. Might get some other things, but I'm not going to order too much just in case. And this is an honest review. They have said that they will get us this stuff for free because I contacted them prior before and told them about the YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, if it's not good, I'll tell you. If it is good, then I'm going to I have a well. feeling. I have a feeling it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Just by like the pictures and the presentation of the flavor, it seems like they know what they're doing. So the juice is good and it is cold pressed and freshly made. A little bit too much pasty for me, but it's not too much. It makes it taste really bad. Got a nice green taste to it. Slight bit of lemon. I wish it had more lemon. A bit more apple, but apples are really bad in Malaysia. So compared to England, they can make really good apple tasting juices. It's going to be really hard to make one here. So yeah, definitely not the best green juice I've had, but definitely one of the worst. I'll give it about. Yeah, 7 out of 10, mm -hmm. to just be a bit more sweeter. Um, yeah, definitely tastes very, very nutrient dense, very healthy, mm -hmm. it's very alkalizing, very nutrient dense. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I like that person oh, yeah, taste. It depends. Each different person mm. likes different types of juices, so I just like mine a specific way. So. And I also personally don't mind if it doesn't have much sweetness. Like I really love like the bitter green flavors. Yeah. And like lemon. You taste the lemon a lot. It's good. 
Yeah, I think it is for me, it's more, it needs a bit more apple for me, mm -hmm. at least. Not necessarily the lemon, because I'm tasting it stronger than lemon at the bottom. Mm. But yeah. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to finish off with this and then we'll show the rest of the food once it comes along. savory, very peanut buttery, chocolatey. I like it a lot. Good healthy alternative sneakers as mm. well. Wow. Is the chocolate very chocolatey or very sweet or? I'd say like in the middle. This pizza, very tomato taste. Very nice, mm. strong tomato taste. I really like the vegetables on it. The pizza's nice and soft. Well, like the base of the pizza. Not dry and hard at all. You find out a lot of thin crust pizzas that are vegan. I the one we had in Gabinda, in Bangkok. Cut my mouth like crazy. I'm gonna see if I can get it strong, maybe. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this pizza. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I think it's a reasonably good price as well. 20 ring it. I highly recommend this. It's so good. Yeah. Thick and creamy. I'm not like overly sweet. Nice. So good balance. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can get this made into gluten free um, if you want instead. I didn't want it. Yeah. I'm assuming it is strong. Very herby as well. Very flavorful. Got high quality tomatoes on. A lot of people that use tomatoes on their dishes seem to use a lot of underripe, low quality tomatoes. The guinea tastes good. Nice mushrooms, a bit of nice chewiness to it. Definitely one of the best vegan pizzas that I've had, but. Thank you. One thing it's missing, which I thought it came with, maybe not. We'll check that. Oh wow. Menu. Mm. Yeah, they have Parmesan cheese on it. But I would prefer, and the Parmesan cheese is good, I prefer a vegan like mozzarella cheese <laughs> to make it more like a, a non vegan pizza. Yeah. But a plant based healthier version. Doesn't mind any criticism with it, but yeah. Mm. Very damn good. I'll give that one 8 out of 10, it'd be 10 out of 10 if, it, if it had the mozzarella cheese. So. Yeah. Something I also love is that the presentation is amazing. Yeah, of all the food so far. Yeah. I have noticed that the bananas are slightly underripe, which isn't my favorite. I like smoothies too, where the fruit is just like very, very ripe, especially bananas. Yeah, it's a very common issue with a lot of places that have banana-based issues. Mm. But yeah, 
It's still really good though. Yeah, but I can't say it can be hard to have loads of ripe bananas. Yeah. So just go back quickly if no one. So what would you rate that out of 10? Mm, um, 8.5? Mm -hmm. Just because of the bananas. Like, oh, yeah, that's amazing. That's like I've noticed. You're using wooden the straw. straws. I love that. No plastic straws. So that's the pizza done with, really enjoyable. I've just noticed that the other pizza was made with a potato, barbecue, cheese base. And I really want that. I didn't notice that before. I rushed really, really quickly to choose what I wanted. Um, and yeah, you're done? Yes. So she's waiting for her other things. And what came along for me was this twisted plant-based shepherd's pie. So it's quite good. Shepherd's pie is quite um, an English so-called speak dish, traditional dish, so to speak. So yeah, I haven't had one of those in a very long time because I've been in Asia for over three years now. Um, I haven't really had, I don't think I've really had any vegan ones, maybe one here and there. Um, but yeah, it's called the Twisted Shepherd's Pie. It's Wonderland plant-based twist, baked mashed potato, sweet, topping with lentils and vegetable filling and I can tell that it's very 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 hot by touching the pot. We try some first if you want. Mm. That's just the top. Oh my god. Wow. Really sweet and savory. Yeah. <laughs> Everything goes good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I would prefer some salt on top though, because I really do really like <laughs> salty things. And to me it's salty. Could you ask them if they got some salt for me? Um, yeah, it's good to come up really, really, really salty, because a lot of dishes are made in places that are overly salty. Most places use refined salt, which I do not like, it's not good for your health, it's full of toxic aluminium that's put in there during the processing, well, the refining process of the salt. So it's good that they use very good unrefined salt here. It's helpful, it has all of the nutrients in it. Yeah. Just got some the pink Himalayan salt, which is good. I'll get it out. There you go, done. Yeah, I don't need the salt to make it more flavorful. I just like the taste of salt. Um, I want that to be as well, so... Yeah, I need more salt than someone that's more sedentary. And yeah, we... Well, I look for nine for all different places. And from when I looked online, in Penang, Malaysia, where we are now, um, pretty much all of the restaurants on Happy Cow are really like cheap fast food. Well, no, cheap Asian restaurants. Like, a lot of them got really good reviews, but it's just cheap food. A lot of people give them really good reviews because they're cheap, but cheap is unclean food that is not healthy. It's got a lot of toxic ingredients added to it. And it doesn't necessarily taste that good. So yeah, this is definitely on the higher price scale for a restaurant, but you get what you pay for, it's completely mm -hmm. worth it. It's not a rip off it. It's understandable why it costs the amount it does. And I've been to places it costs to move for in Thailand and it costs more than this. So yeah, I'm more, I'd be more than happy to pay for this food. Um, Especially for food that's gonna not only tastes better, but it's going to make you feel good as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> nourish your body with like an abundance of nutrients that are going to make you feel good. And it's going to help give you the optimal state of health possible and in your mind and body. Yeah, and the best mood, best sleep, best physique possible. Mm. 
Ah. The underneath tastes really, really good. It's still very, very hot. But the way that they've made the lentils mix up with it, it tastes sort of like a meaty mint-ish type of thing, but they haven't got none of this like fake meat in Fake vegan meat, so I'm not good for you. Mm. It's got a really herby taste to it as well. Wanna try? It's a little bit hot actually. Mm. 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 How does it taste to you? Oh wow. I like the spices. It's a bit spicy. Yeah, it is a little bit spicy. More of a peppery spicy though, isn't it? Rather than a chilli spicy. It almost tastes like stuffing. Yeah, that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. You can try it with that. Mm. That's the topping wow. combined with the bottom. Oh my god. The filling. It's like, like 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. I definitely think it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything with potatoes, like especially sweet potatoes. And what I've noticed with the food so far, I don't seem like there's any oil in this. Mm -hmm. The peas didn't seem oil at all, and oil doesn't make me feel good at all. I prefer to say clear processed oil. Not places you really bad at oil, like canola oil, sunflower oil, that's really unhealthy for you, really high in omega 6. Really don't need free, which causes chronic inflammation about the whole body. It's not good for you, and they go brand seared and denature as well when you cook them, especially at high temperature. Aren't they rancid too from sitting like, yeah. for a long period yeah, of time? Well, yeah, they meant more so about the denaturing. The denaturing mm -hmm. happens when you cook it. You're cooking it, yeah. At high, high temperature. temperature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many vegans out there that are unhealthy. We do eat vegan diet, we're not unhealthy. We eat really clean food a lot of the time. We indulge here and there. There's a lot of vegans that eat just so much packaged and processed stuff and they still eat like cheap nasty breakfast cereals and loads of bread and loads of fake meats and all this other garbage. You notice how there's a lot of, I mean, I know a lot of vegans that are like, oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't stick to a vegan diet, and then I ask them what they're eating, and they're just eating like bread and like processed foods and pizza, and like, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so anyone could be unhealthy in any type of diet. Yeah, it depends how you do it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of sweet potato. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's why I'm adding salt as well, balance it out, which for me, yeah, makes it taste a lot better. Just to balance out that sweetness. Mm. I just did a lot of durian before I come here as well, so that was really, really sweet. So yeah, I want something a bit more savory. Yeah, mine was a bit hard to finish, because I just ate so much sweet, and then that sweet on top. But it was really good still. So. That was probably the most filling like smoothie I've ever had. Yeah. But yeah, it was more so like dessert and smoothie put together. Mm -hmm. It's a good value for money then. It tastes yeah, good and feel your own. So filling. Yeah. And the price of that was for anyone wondering. Well, the juice was 13 ringgit. And then I think that one is oh. And hers was 28 ringgit. Yeah. So yeah, still relatively good. Cheaper than if you was in America, where she's from, for example. Mm -hmm. Or London. Wait, two, 28, how much US is that? Like, three, six, yeah, like seven, $7. Yeah, in England, you could spend like on that pizza, I don't know, 80 ring it or so, mm -hmm. 80 to 100, and there's 20 in here. So, yeah, still very good value for money.
ordered half pesto, half tomato sauce. Yeah, for the base. For the base. Mine was just tomatoes, so let's see what hers is like. And we just ordered the other pizza to have half of each because we we'll really like trying it so cheap. Okay. Mm. That is really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I can't see the tomato on it. Like the tomato base. Oh, it looks like they just made the whole thing pesto. That's fine with me. I like pesto more. Mm. Not too salty. And I love that the vegetables try are... try that one? Mm -hmm. And I love that the vegetables are... Like, not too overcooked, like right in the middle. And I like that the crust isn't like super thick. It's just, yeah, I like the consistency. Mm. Mm. Really good. So what they've done is mix the pesto in with the tomato base because I can oh. taste it on there really strongly. There you go. You can tell. Yeah, I've never really had pesto for me. Well, I once had it by accident, but I didn't like it. It's uh, but mm. I definitely prefer it with just a tomato. I don't dislike the pesto, but it's not something that I am drawn mm. to. But it's definitely good pesto if you're into pesto. I love pesto. Yeah, I've been in a lot of places in playing. I've been here multiple times. This is by far my best restaurant experience ever. Mm -hmm. It's plant based vegan. So, yeah, I highly recommend this place. This is like 9.5. What would you modify? To be a tip. It tastes a bit like there's like lemon, like it's a bit sour, a little bit too much sour. Maybe it's because they mix the tomato with it. I think if it was like just tomato or like just pesto, then it would be. But that was something that I created. I thought it was going to be half. Oh, and maybe some sort of vegan cheese instead of the... Yeah, I'll close it. I don't know, is it nutritional yeast or mozzarella? Parmesan. Parmesan? But they may have used some sort of nutritional yeast with something else. Mm -hmm. Nutritional yeast is something that it's got a cheesy flavour that's vegan. Mm -hmm. You can add things like cashews, or like blended up type of them, range of paste or cheese like substance, and add nutritional yeast to it. It's like cheese. From the first restaurant that ever left a gap in between a juice and a dessert thing, but had them first. I've asked many places that before, and they always just seem to bring it at the same time, or they end up bringing it out after all the other food, even though I saw it first. And yeah, the food didn't take too long to be prepared and run to us, which is good. And what we'll do is put the links down below for their Instagram, um, their Facebook, they've got as well. Let's put the link down below for the happy cow that they're on, so you can see reviews and photos in there as well. Do you have a buy? No. Very, very, very hot and like heat from being cooked. And even though I eat cooked food, I normally don't eat very, I normally eat room temperature food. Which is called, I don't know what. Do you know? Holy 
Pozzoli? Pozzoli? Look at that. It looks like mint balls on top. It does, it's tepe. Wow. This one's definitely a harder place. Wow, that's very, very hard. I'll put this in the salt on this hole. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want no salt. Oh, put a lot of it in yours. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Wait, I want to get you eating it. Oh, wow. That pie tastes amazing on there. That's really high quality pineapple. Well, when they cook it, it makes it sweeter. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't look like it's green at all. Yeah, this is made with chip free flour base and not chip. I'm gonna try some um, tempeh pineapple pizza. It's topped with barbecue and potato cheese base. Um, we're pairing a grilled pineapple and tempeh topping. This base is a lot oh denser than the other one. I like this one better. Oh my gosh. I love the barbecue sauce flavor. So tangy. And sweet. Mm. It's 10 out of 10. I prefer that they use the other flour base mm. of all of these ingredients. It is kind of thicker. Yeah, I find that the sauce is overpowering the tomato. Yep. Mm. And I really like the tomato taste. Mm. Yeah, again, I would use like sort of vegan mozzarella cheese with a different flour base. What would you rate this one? Well, I did say 10 out of 10, but I think I take it back. Like a 9? It's just the base is a little too thick for me. Yeah, for me, it's 6. But or like 8. We're all different. We like things differently. So. Mm -hmm. Just the cheese is far from like a, uh, a really good pizza cheese. Base is nothing like a really good pizza base. I like the flavors, but not so much the texture. But it is nice that they offer gluten free option. Mm. If anyone knows if you're in a gluten free, some gluten free options are good, some are not so. But in comparison to some gluten free crusts I've had, this is really good. Like, usually the ones I've had have been really not that great. Yeah, definitely very filling food because it's very nutrient dense, which is good. So when we're in Bangkok and we eat refined vegan junk food, we're not spending so much more because we're not eating so much more. So this is definitely good value for money here. See what that means to go in that bit. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you can. So I'm going to do this one. To work. <coughs> yeah, the edges get harder. It tends to be more like a cracker. Yeah, I definitely like the consistency of the other one. What more do you mean? How it's just like lighter and not so like thick and hard. Mm -hmm. I had a few different vegan pizzas and that other one I had. Um, so I'll give you one other, one other vegan pizza to beat it. It's pretty good. But yeah, I haven't tried loads of vegan pizzas though. I've had quite a few. It's a lot. 
The thing I like here, they got quite a few things on the menu, but not loads and loads and loads of stuff. I get really confused yeah. and overwhelmed when there's too much stuff that's good to choose from. Mm -hmm. It made it really easy for me to choose from. It's not like a really small menu, but there's just enough on the menu to choose from. I can't decide on so many things. You can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Why can't you eat anymore? I'm so full. Mm. Tastes buttery though. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really weird. Like, that just tastes like real butter bit. <laughs> Hey, Miss Uncle. So yeah, we left a little bit. So it's pressed a bit hard, but only a little bit. Yeah. In all, I don't know I mean, 7.5 out of 10 the whole experience. So, thumbs up from us, this one definitely. Yeah. Just some minor improvements that could be made. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely happy with the overall experience. I feel really tall. And associated with getting good. Don't feel heavy after the food, which is nice. Some places feel really heavy and ugh. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it's clean and food, so it's good. And yeah, don't forget to check out Janessa's YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook. There'll be links down below for all those social media links. Mm. Got any questions for us? Leave them down below. Don't forget to check out the social media links this place is mentioned earlier on the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded, you click that subscribe button down below. You click the bell notification button and subscribe button. Otherwise, you will not be notified of when new videos are uploaded. You can have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest, the rest of your day. day. Peace.